The Bahamani Sultanate is otherwise named as Bahamanid Empire or Bahamani Kingdom is from the year 1347 to 1538 AD. The pictures here depicts the monuments of the Bahamani Kingdom. Let me introduce the Bahamani Sultanate. The Bahamani Kingdom was founded by Alauddin Hassan in the year 1347. After the crowning of Alauddin Hassan, he assumed the title of Alauddin Hassan Bahman Shah. It is from this title that the kingdom was called the Bahamani Kingdom. The Bahamani Kingdom was a Muslim state of the Deccan in South India and one of the great medieval Indian kingdoms and was also the first independent Islamic kingdom in South India. The Bahmani Sultanate dynasty made Hassanabad as a capital and later known as Gulbarga between the year 1347 and 1425 when it was moved to Muhammadabad and now it is named as Bidar district. The Bahmani Sultans demanded descent from the Persian king Kai Bahman and maintained a keen interest in Persian affairs and culture. The family of the Bahamani kingdom was divided into two periods, that is, the Gulbarga period from the year 1347 to 1422 AD and Bidar period from 1422 to 1538 AD. The Gulbarga period includes Alauddin Asan Bahman Shah, Muhammad I, Alauddin Mujahid Shah, Daud Shah I, Muhammad II, Giyasuddin Tamatan Shah, Samshuddin Daud Shah II, and Tajuddin Firoz Shah. The Bidar period includes Shiabuddin Ahmad Shah I, Alauddin Ahmad Shah II, Alauddin Umayyan Shah, Nizamuddin Ahmad Shah III, Samshuddin Muhammad Shah III, Shiabuddin Muhammad, Ahmad Shah IV, Alauddin Shah, Wahiullah Shah, and Kalim Ullah Shah. The economy of the Bahamani Kingdom says that the chief economic activity in the Bahamani Kingdom was agriculture and the main income of the state was produced in the form of agricultural products. Arc and Architecture of the Bahamani Kingdom The Bahamani Kingdom succeeded in architectural monuments. Golgumbas was the best example of the Bahamani Kingdom, which is the tomb of Muhammad Adil Shah. Golgumbas is the largest dome in India and the second largest in the world and is located in Bijapur. Another famous monument is the Char Minar which is located at Hyderabad and the Jama Masjid at Gulbarga. The tomb of Ahmad Shah in Bidar is another monument of the Bahamani kingdom. The uniqueness of this tomb says that it has five arches on each side with the central arch being of the greatest height. Each arch is framed in black stone and there are two small jali windows in the front of the structure. The tomb is not open to the public. The second picture is the fort of Daulatabad in Maharashtra. Another monument of Bahamani Kingdom is the Golconda Fort which is located at Hyderabad in Andhra Pradesh. The Culture of the Bahamani Kingdom The Bahamani Kingdom was like a cultural bridge between the North and South India and the culture that developed during this period was a blend of both North and South Indian styles and also and its own distinct style. This style influenced the Mughal culture too. The picture too depicts the coins 
which is 400 years old of Bahmani kingdom. The decline of the Bahmani kingdom. Ahmad Shah, a capable ruler, waged successful wars against Vijayanagar, Warangal and Malwa. Ahmad Shah died in the year 1435 and was succeeded by his eldest son, Alauddin II. The picture here depicts a sketch of the Ahmad Shah. Alauddin II, from the year 1436 to 1458, was succeeded by his son, Umayun. Umayun was killed by his own slave as he was cruel. Umayun was succeeded by his son Nizam Shah who was only 8 years old and died after 2 years. Nizam Shah was succeeded by his 9 year old brother Muhammad Shah III. Being a very capable man, he won victories over the Orissa and Vijayanagar rulers and extended the Bahmani kingdom up to Goa and Orissa. Muhammad Shah III died in the year 1482 and his successors were weak. Soon the Bahmani kingdom broke into five separate sultanates namely Imad Shahi of Berar, the Nizam Shahi of Ahmadanagar, the Adil Shahi of Bijapur, the Qutub Shahi of Golconda and the Barit Shahi of Bidar. The pictures here depicts Qutub Shahi and Adil Shahi. Thank you.